Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you all? I believe that you all guys must be good. Welcome to my channel Bingo English. In this video, I am going to teach you two structure which can be very helpful for you guys. Number one is be eager to and then number two is used to. So, if you haven't subscribed my channel, so please subscribe my channel and if you want to watch my more videos related to any particular topics, so you may press the bell icon. So now we are going to start our topic. Let's begin. So guys, two structures are written over here. So first, let's start first. Be eager to. So be eager to, the definition is here. Now we are going to read definition. It talks about eagerness and desire. This means that it talks about eagerness and desire. It talks about eagerness and desire. Let's see formation over here. Subject plus is a mark plus eager to plus first from plus object. It's an affirmative means positive sentence and uh, we can see uh, the negative sentence negative subject plus is a mark plus not plus eager to plus verb first one plus object and now coming to interrogative it's is a mark plus subject plus eager to plus verb first one plus object question mark so i believe that it will take time for the beginners especially to understand this formation okay isko time lagta hai formations ko understand karne mein kyunki ye starting ki video mein maine aapko is formation padhai hai magar iske jo sentences hai wo bahut jagah par use hote hain you can easily use these sentences if you have got the idea about it it's okay that if you are unable to understand sentences but focus on these sentences you will be able to speak as well at least you can easily give the answer if you are eager to do something so now let's come to the first I am eager to take coffee. It means that कि मैं बेकरार हूँ कॉफी पीने के लिए मैं बेकरार हूँ कॉफी पीने के लिए Basically we use take because we don't drink coffee. We cannot say drink क्योंकि drink होता है पीने के लिए जो पानी के लिए use किया जाता है Coffee, tea and this sort of thing we can use take. Okay? I am eager to take coffee. मैं बेकरार हूँ कॉफी पीने के लिए Let's come to next sentence. She is not eager to play games. It means that you must have got the idea that what does it mean? What does it mean? के वो बेकरार नहीं है गेम खेलने के लिए. She is not eager to play games. Now let's come to number three. They are eager to go stadium. What do you think? What does it mean? के वो बेकरार हैं स्टेडियम जाने के लिए. They are eager to go stadium. Let's come to number five. Are you eager to meet him? Are you eager to meet him? क्या तुम उससे मिलने के लिए बेकरार हो? Are you eager to meet him? So it's interrogative sentence which you can use interrogative as well in negative as well. Over here it's a positive, it's mean affirmative, and over here it's a negative and same positive, positive affirmative and positive and interrogative. So I believe that you must have got the idea about it. ये basically बात करता है चाहत की या बेकरारी की कि मैं ये काम करने के लिए बेकरार हूँ. I have B means is M R. It means that I have used first form of B. You can, second form will be was verb and third form will be been. अगर आप इसको second form जैसे कि वो बेकरार था करने के लिए अगर आप चाहो तो is M R की जगह आप was verb लिखें और according to the subject you guys can use it. Like she was eager to go uh, outside. वो बेकरार था बाहर जाने के लिए. So आप was लगाकर या verb लगाकर according to the pronoun you can use this. Okay? And for the present perfect as well, you can use this that कि वो बेकरार हो चुका है खेलने के लिए. She has been, he has been eager to play. The simple sentence you may say. So according to this formation, like is M R was were and been, आप इन तीनों के format में आप कह सकते हैं. Now let's come to used to definition. It talks about past habitual action. इसका मतलब होता है वो काम जो आप पहले किया करते थे मगर अब नहीं करते वो काम जो पहले आप किया करते थे मगर अब नहीं करते यू गाइज यूज टू डू द वर्क बट नाउ डो यू गाइज डोंट रिपीट अगेन वट एवर यू यूज टू डू लाइक आई एम गोन हैव फॉर्मेशन ओवर ईयर कि फॉर्मेशन देख लेते हैं सब्जेक्ट प्लस यूज टू प्लस फर्स्ट फॉर्म फर्स्ट फॉर्म प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट इट्स अ पॉजिटिव अफर्मेटिव सब्जेक्ट प्लस डेड Not used to first form plus object. यहाँ पे आपको एक difference दिखेगा क्योंकि यहाँ पे d नहीं लगा है. Basically we are using past form over here. Use 
मैं किया करता था वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पास दैट्स वाई वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू मेक एनी सेंटेंस इन नेगेटिव सो वी प्रेफर टू यूज डेड इन स्टैंड ऑफ यू नो डू Instead of do and did, we prefer to when we are going to make sentence in past in negative, we use did. Fine, and you can according to the you know subject, you may use any subject, but we will be using same. कि हम एक ही चीज did को इस्तेमाल करेंगे. आप इसमें subject change ही क्यों ना कर लें? आप ही कर लें, she कर लें, I कर लें, uh, you कर लें, तो आपका did ही रहेगा. She did not like. She did not used to first from play. गेम्स uh, आप इस तरीके से कह सकते हैं कि वो नहीं खेला करती थी गेम सो नाउ लेट्स कम टू इंट्रोग्रेफ डेट प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस यूज टू प्लस वर्स परफॉर्म प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट के इसकी ये इंट्रोग्रेफ है हम इसको इंट्रोग्रेफ पे भी बना सकते हैं लेट्स कम टू नंबर वन सेंटेंस आई यूज टू प्ले पबजी literally but uh, if i talk about myself it's just sentence i never prefer to means i didn't download it as well but now i think i'm going to download i haven't downloaded yet literally guys but i think i will be downloading for uploading my videos so i used to play pubg main pubg khela karta tha magar ab nahi main pubg khela karta tha ab nahi so now let's come to number second sentence he used to go school like me i can say i used to go school main school jaya karta tha but now i don't go fine So now let's come to number three. We did not used to go at picnic. हम picnic पर नहीं जाया करते थे. So you can say in this way as well. She used to teach students. वो students को पढ़ाया करती थी. She used to teach students. Did you used to play cricket? Did you used to play cricket? So you guys can use this sentence in interrogative, in negative, in positive as well. If you want to use, and it can help you while writing as well, while speaking as well. You guys can make any sentence like in, uh, if, especially this one. You guys uh, are going to use a lot this sentence. I believe that you must have got the concept. Now, uh, what can I say? If you like my video, so please uh, press the thumb. Which one thumb? Not this one. This one. And. If you want to watch my more video, so press the bell icon, and I will be teaching you these sort of lectures, these sort of uh, structures, and more videos in upcoming videos. So uh, I believe that uh, you guys must have got. So we will meet in next video. Allah Hafiz. Keep sharing and subscribe my video.